whole gallery of cartoon heroes there and I wonder if one day we'll see this chap up there with them. Remember him? He's our cartoon character that we've been creating over the last couple of weeks. I'm just trying some facial expressions out on him there. That's good. Using the good old tracing paper just to experiment with. There he is. Chatting away there. I think that looks really good. You know, it's quite interesting to compare my cartoon character's head with a real cat head. Because look, it's nothing like it. They are so different. If you look at my character's eyes, they're close together and they're small, and yet a real cat has got big eyes far apart. And look at that mouth. Really big cheesy grin there, whereas a real cat has only got quite a small mouth. In fact, my cat is more human-like, and this is a trick a lot of cartoonists use. They make their characters with human features so that we can recognise what they're actually doing. So, OK, we've got to give my character a body now, and it will be interesting to see whether or not he suits a real cat's body. So here it goes, the moment of truth. <laughs> I don't think so, that looks terrible. So we're going to have to create his own body. Get rid of that cat's body, that's not going to go anywhere. I think what we'll do then is we'll make his body a bit more human-like. So let's start out with a real long body. See what he looks like? Tall and lanky. Put his feet in there. He's still a cat though, but I'll just make him a bit more human, have him standing up. I'm just doing it rough to get the measurements right. What's that like? No, he looks a bit like a, a cat lollipop. OK, what about a short tubby body? Let's try that. Let's give him a little paunch of a belly there. Let's put his shoulders and his hands behind his back. Make him nice and tubby. Give him a little short dumpy legs. Ah, now then, I think this is looking a lot better. There's his tail coming out from behind. That's looking a lot better because it's in better proportion to his head. So what about his clothes? Well, at the moment, he's got a top hat on, so let's keep his clothes nice and posh. What goes with a top hat? Yes, tails. So we'll put some posh tails on him there. And maybe even a posh waistcoat. Put that on. The great thing about this tracing paper is you can just keep going over and over again. And what about a pair of glasses on him? Make him look a little bit older. Or better still, a monocle. That might make him look nice and distinguished. There he is. And we could also curl his whiskers up a little bit. And there he is. I think that's getting there. I think that's beginning to look pretty good. You know, it's amazing when you think about it, just with the help of a bit of tracing paper and paper, a couple of weeks ago we started out with the bare bones of a character, just a smile on a sheet of paper, and now look what we've got. He's almost there, a cat. In fact, I quite like that name, you know, Bones. Bones the Cat. I think we've just christened him. Bones the Cat it is. Next week he gets some colour.